Hey guys, Will here with Media Place, and in this video, we're gonna talk about automation. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how automation can help your workflow. All right, so before I get into talking about automation into itself, let's talk a little bit about how automation ties into batch actions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select these three images, and then I'm gonna go over here to the top and go to my actions, right? Now, you can see that I have the option to do a bunch of batch actions that process one action at a time, right? So I go to images here, and maybe I wanna convert these to a PNG, I can convert all three of these images at one time as a PNG, right? But what happens when I want to process multiple files at one time, but do multiple actions as well at the same time? So maybe I want to convert this to a PNG and then I want to make an adjustment here. And then I want to add a filter to all three of those and then have that do it at one time. Well, you can do that right here with presets. All right. So if I come over here and click on presets and then go to manage presets, it opens up my presets dialog box, right? So now what I can do is I can add an action here and we can call it, uh, let's just call it our um, batch operation uh, one, okay? And then what I can do is I can add an action here. Now I've got an image selected, so I can go to images and let's say I wanna convert it. So I'm gonna convert these JPEGs to a PNG and I'll go quality 100%. Let's add another action, right? So let's go back down to images and let's say I also want to flip these, right? So I can go, let's set it horizontal, let's flip them vertically. All right, so we've got two actions going on, right? We're converting from JPEG to PNG and we're also gonna be uh, flipping these vertically. Now I wanna add one more action, go back to images here and let's do uh, a filter. And let's go ahead and add the Technicolor filter here. And then now we've got three actions going on. All right, and so now if I click off here, you'll see that here is the preset that I created, right? The batch operation one. So I can select that and it'll tell me here. So these are the things that are gonna happen. It's gonna flip vertically, filter with the Technicolor on all of them, and then it's gonna convert them as a PNG, right? So then what I can do is I can hit, I can save here, I can overwrite, or I can export them out however I wanna do that. But it's doing multiple operations for me um, at the same time, right? So I don't have to go in there to maybe three images at a time, apply one uh, setting there and do it again and do it again, right? I can, I can take care of all of it in one swoop right here, right? So let's go ahead and save here. And you can see the tasks are in process. And now if I come off of here, here is the images that it flipped. And then it also did my color corrections there with the filter and it converted all of them to PNGs, right? All right, so that is how you can apply multiple actions utilizing the presets in batch actions, right? All right, so let's talk about how this applies to automations and how those work together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder and let's go ahead and call this source. And then we're gonna create a secondary folder and we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, processed files, right? All right, so let's click on the source folder here. And if you go over here to the right side of the program, you'll see there's automation, add action, right? So let's go ahead and select add an action. Now you'll notice right away that when I click on that, you'll see that there is the batch operation one that we created up here at the top in our batch actions, right? So that's how they kind of work together, right? So whatever preset I create, even in batch actions, I have access to in my automations for my folders, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to manage presets and let's change this up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select to add a new, right? And this one's gonna be my source, source uh, operation. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some actions. So I'm gonna go ahead and these are images that I'm gonna import. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and convert these to PNG, I'm gonna go ahead and add another action. Let's go to images. And I'm gonna make some adjustments here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a color rotation as well as bump up some of the brightness and then increase the saturation a little bit, all right? Now let's go ahead and add another action in here. Let's go to images and let's go ahead and do a, a rotate maybe. Let's go ahead and rotate it and let's rotate them 180 degrees, right? I just want you to see the process so you can see which images and how it works and what it does. All right, so now let's go ahead and click off of here and come back out. So now if I want to add an action, I can go here and you'll see that there is my source operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and select source operation. And the cool thing about this is when you automate stuff that goes inside a folder, uh, once you create the action, you can choose where you wanna save all the things that you drag into this folder at, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the folder. I don't want it to save to here because these are gonna be my source files. I want to save all the processed files to our processed files folder, right? All right, now you do have the option here to remove source files when you're done. So after you process these, do you wanna remove the source and keep the, uh, keep the just the processed versions? Um, that's why I have two folders in case something happens. I always keep the source files 
Um, that way I can go back and make changes if I need to. All right, so what I can do now is I'm gonna import in, and what this does is it allows me to import in all the files that I import into my source folder. Um, they will then process all these actions and they will be put into my processed files folder, right? So let's go ahead and go to click on import up here. And I've got these hiking pictures here that I'm gonna go ahead and open. And so now it's telling me, yes, it's gonna go, my destination folder is the source and it's gonna end up going to my process files once it works through there. So I'm gonna click import. And then you can see there's some tasks in progress at the top and then it's here at the bottom. And it's almost done processing, it's about 33%. So once it's done processing all those actions, I can then go ahead and click here in my process files and you'll see it's already dumping those images into here and performing all of those automated actions, right? So super powerful, super helpful tool, right? So again, these work hand in hand with batch actions, right? So I can make a process in my batch actions, but then I can also bring those into my automation section, right? And I can then see them here uh, from the ones I created there and then the new ones I created inside of my automation folder, right? So really cool and helpful tool, right? Now let's say, well, what do I have video files? Can I do stuff with video? Yes, you can. So let's go ahead and add a folder and let's call it video. All right, now, once I have that folder created, let's go over here to automation and then let's add a new preset, right? So I'm gonna click add for new preset and then let's call this video operations, all right? And then let's go ahead and add some actions. So I'll click on the add action button and then go down to video and you have the option to convert, resize, rotate, watermark, or do multiple of these at the same time. But I'm just gonna add a watermark from here to start. And I've already got a pre-designed, I just got my name there in the bottom right corner. Now, if I wanted to create a new one, I could click on manage designs and then maybe import in an image that I have of a pre-existing watermark that I have or add some text. Um, and then I could use the random background to generate what that looks like with my watermark, right? So pretty cool. And you can have as many watermark designs as you want. Um, you just add a new and then create the ones you need to, right? But for now, I'm just gonna use this will watermark that I have. All right, now from here, let's add some more actions. So I'm gonna click on the add actions again and let's go to all files. Now from here, I'm gonna add a rating and I'm gonna give the files that I'm gonna import, um, this is gonna, they're all gonna have a four star rating. And I'm gonna add one more action, go to all files and let's add a tag. And we're gonna call this, I'm gonna call it space cause that's what my video clips are. So then now every time I import fi uh, video files into this folder, it's gonna give them a watermark, a four star rating and it's gonna add a space tag to them, right? So let's go ahead and click out of here. Now with your video folder still selected here, go over here and add action. And then here is our video operation preset we just created. Now I don't wanna save our process files into this folder. I wanna save them into our process files folder. So what I can do is go to save to and then select this folder here and then choose my destination folder. I wanna save those two. For me, it's gonna be the processed files. And then it's gonna save them as MP4s. And then all I gotta do is now import in some video clips, right? So let's go over here to the top, click import, and I'm gonna import in this earth clip and this video track here, and then hit open. All right, now it's letting me know my destination folder is going to my video folder, and I've already added that automation preset to it. So let's go ahead and click import. So now you can see it imported in the video clips that are there. Um, one's 1080, one's 720, um, 15 seconds and six seconds apart. So now it's processing. Um, so depending on how large your files are, um, and also your aspect ratios, whether you shot in 4K, 1080, that kind of thing will determine your processing time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick back up once they're finished here and we'll go into the process files folder. All right, so now we are done processing. So let's go to our process files and there you can see that both of our video clips are here. And if I double click, you'll see there is the watermark and let's exit out and you'll see there are the four star ratings at the top. And you can also see on the right side under the info four star ratings with the space tag added to both of them, all right? So super powerful features inside of Media Place. Again, that is the closer look at the automation tools, utilizing the batch functions as well inside of Media Place. Stay tuned for more videos, and as always, keep creating.